Hey guys, welcome to Vlogmas Day 23. Jingle bell, jingle bell. <laughs> Sing for me, baby. Baby. <laughs> baby. So I am slowly starting to slow down. Ugh, I guess it's just like vlogging daily has uh, it's taken energy i know it sounds easy to a lot of people but i'm watching quite a few vlogmases this year and we all are equally feeling the same but it's also very sad for it to end i'm not gonna lie i'm gonna i'm gonna miss vlogmas a lot vlogmas is that one time a year where i'm like yep i'm a normal gal i sure am because everyone else I watch on Vlogmas, like, we're just all the same. We just chill at home. We leave the house to shop. Like, vloggers be vloggers. We're literally living our everyday mundane life on YouTube. And two out of the, I want to say maybe like five vloggers that I watch, two of them made this thing, which I wish I could, but since I live in an apartment complex, it doesn't work that way. They have these really big baskets outside of their front door for delivery drivers because they get packages after packages after packages every single day um learning to be fearless and then sarah ray vlogus and i know that's not her last name but that's her um youtube name uh her vlog channel name so my friend actually sent me this and i wanted to share it with you guys because it's the truth folks um it speaks loud volumes like when she sent this to me, I was like, my jaw dropped. I was like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Jealous people don't necessarily want what you have. They just don't want you to have it. Isn't that the truth? Some people live a sad, bitter life. If you have anyone like that in your life uh, or who makes you feel that way, it's time to move on. It is time to move on. Also, update, as you guys know, yesterday I was not feeling good at all. Was not feeling the greatest. Today, I'm still still hurting a little bit. Um, after I have a gallstone attack, or like, I just feel really sick in like my upper abdomen where my gallstones are. Um, there's like this phantom pain that I feel for the next like day or so. And I don't even know if it's phantom, but it's just like this lingering pain. And sucks it, it does and you know i haven't gotten sick after a binge really in a while so it's just kind of like unfortunate that that happens but like getting sick like that like makes it to where like binging just sounds painful so that could be a good thing for the future binge monster that decides to pay me a visit again whenever that is i'll remember this moment and be like girl you do not want to feel that pain. All right, who's opening first? You can open first, Sada. Okay. Here's Helene's gift, though. This side is velvet. Ooh, we're keeping this bag. That's cool, huh? <laughs> okay. So she didn't have a big enough bag that was Christmas. So <laughs> we have this. Wow, this is heavy and big. Yeah. <laughs> so we have this uh, butterfly moment. Okay. Is this the one? Or the one like it? Is this the one? This is the one. Oh my god! Baby. Baby. You won gifts this year. I've been wanting this blanket, you guys, off of this website that's like over $100. I mean, the blanket is massive. Did you give me the massive one? Yes, I did. Oh my God. Oh my God. I am, look at how cozy. And it has a bunch of suns on it, baby. This is the exact one. I know, I've been sitting on that one for a while. Wait, okay. I want to keep it clean. Let me put it on top of Mount Torrid. I still haven't put away. <laughs> Baby. Baby. Genuinely. 
Wow. I love you. You're so thoughtful. That one's been in my cart for a hot second. Thank you, baby. You're welcome, baby. Wait a second. Smart pause. <laughs> Baby. <laughs> Here's a sweater. Okay, they didn't have many to choose from. No, I love it. And then, it has a matching one for Twinkie. <laughs> Babe. I just hope it fits you guys, and if it doesn't, then obviously we could take it back. Cause we're putting this on right now. Okay, so it's a matching set for her and Twinkie, cause she's always wanted one. <laughs> you know I've always wanted one. Yes. Twinks. Twinkie. Oh my god, we have all the gift wrap. Twinks, we're about to look cool as hell. <laughs> Mama has a mess to clean up. But look at you! <laughs> Your new sweater! Now Feline is putting hers on. This is cozy. I know you like your sweaters to be a little snug snug. Not like super loose. Do you like how it fits? I love how it fits. Oh my god, you guys match. <laughs> this is so cute! <laughs> Twinkie's like, really? You gotta do this to me? Yes we do. Now you're so warm. <laughs> oh, you guys are so cute. My little baby. My little baby. <laughs> Wait, we need to take a picture for picture time. Look at mama's. <laughs> oh, say cheese. Oh, little bubba. Say twins. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you guys look so cute. Okay. I snapped a bunch of pictures. Just, you know, in the office, cuddling with my blankie. Oh my god, like this is so sweet. You guys, look at Tweaky. Cause she has a Cuban link collar. And look at her. <laughs> She's like, I'm the boss now, bitches. I'm the boss around these parts. <laughs> oh my god. She looks so good. You're Aww. killing it, Bubba. She looks so good. You're killing it. <laughs> little baby. Gosh. Anyways, I am about to watch back my vlog from yesterday, schedule it, make a title for it, you know, the whole nine. Yesterday's vlog was kind of meh. Today's gonna be kind of meh. I think the rest of Vlogmas is gonna be meh. Um, regards on on the regards of like going out and doing things because we have a cold front a snow situation type deal heading our way and when it's icy out when it's snowy out the sun don't see me the moon don't see me the sky don't see me i don't exist you guys <laughs> it's time to say r.i.p because look Okay, so Feline got me another birthday gift and we were just sitting here. Oh, my necklace is all messed up. Am I screaming? Because these are noise cancellation. Okay, let's take these out so I can actually hear myself. Was I screaming? Mm -hmm. Oh my God. So, okay. She already got me Titanic, the Lego situation type deal for my birthday. But then she got me another gift because we opened Titanic early. <laughs> But then she went and got me another gift today and we just couldn't contain ourselves. This was sitting, she said, close your eyes. This was sitting in front of my face on my desk when I opened my eyes. Please tell me why Apple's bags are like, this within itself is probably like $100. Like what the hell? And then, I was shook to the core. She got me the pros, the um, AirPod Pros. <sighs> because they are something I've always wanted, you know, and it's just one of those things where it's like, I can't justify spending the money myself. 
Why are we like this? We like to open gifts early. <laughs> We're really bad at gift giving. <laughs> yeah, in that sense. So for my birthday, she's gotten me the Titanic Lego in these. Like, ma'am. Ma'am. Thank you, babies. So now you guys don't ever have to see me. No, I'm probably still going to use these here and there. Let's be real. <laughs> but these are the new, these are the new side character. <laughs> these are the new side character. Oh my God. I'm so appreciative. Thank you. You're welcome, baby. Okay, so it is advent calendar time. We're actually on day 23, but I skipped yesterday, which was the first time I skipped. So we're gonna get the 22nd out first, which is just some yellow. And the mold is a nutcracker, okay. And then 23, here's some orange and the mold is a house okay okay so i used both of the molds i know this is not spectacular okay you guys we're gonna clear up some rumors i thought it was a good time to do that so i went on to my instagram and i asked you guys got any rumors that you want me to clear up and there's there's a lot so i'm just gonna go through here and i'm just gonna read some answer some and clear up some or say yep that is true okay so this isn't really like a rumor but the question is why are you more sexual with feline than you were with your ex so i'm a very 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 sexual person and if you go back to not my recent ex, but my ex before that, you could also see that I was very, very sexual. We made out on camera several times. I, I don't know why, weird. Constant sexual innuendos, just constantly. Flirting, et cetera, et cetera, because that's my vibe. That's how I am with people I'm into. And especially if they're into me back like that, then it just makes it even more like strong. And that was the chemistry we had. And that is the chemistry that me and Fleen have, but like a million trillion times more. <laughs> with my most recent ex, we didn't have that type of vibe or situation type deal. And that's understandable because every relationship is different. So I think it's time we stop comparing because comparing is pointless because all relationships and all connections that you have with people they are all going to be different but just because you guys didn't get to see that side of me does not mean she wasn't living within do you have one room in your house that is full to the ceiling <laughs> like on hoarders no there's also rumors that i have like several storage units i haven't had a storage unit since i was with uh my ex because we had one together we had all our Christmas stuff in there, Halloween stuff, um, a few other odds and ends. But then when we broke up, we broke up the contract to the storage unit. So I don't even have a storage unit anymore. What you see is what I have. People definitely do assume that I have a lot more than what I actually have. Um, I'm not a hoarder. I just like to buy new things and I, I rotate items. I buy things, I get rid of things, I buy things, I get rid of things, and that's okay. I, As long as I'm not like wasteful, I do not feel wasteful because I do donate a lot of things, and it's to places that need donations, like homeless shelter or Goodwill. Um, I know there's a lot of people who like to thrift, and I love giving to Goodwill, especially clothing, because not a lot of people my size can just go into Goodwill and find clothing. So I love that, you know, the stuff that I'm getting rid of, there could be someone my size going into Goodwill and actually able to find themselves something that they can buy. Why must you rip the doors off of your advent calendar? That's not how they work. How do they work? Did you invent advent calendars? <laughs> I rip it off because um, it's like an obsessive thing. Like. It just gives me a lot of like uneasiness. I feel like I have to rip off the doors. 
um, to complete the day. Do you actually intend to get weight loss surgery? Is it really just for views? I don't know how that would be just for views because it's just something I am low-key talking about. I'm not making my whole videos about that topic. I do intend to get weight loss surgery if it is right for me and right for my story and right for my journey because if things aren't meant to happen, they aren't meant to happen and you can't just sit there and dwell. Did you eat or toss the WW snacks? I ate some. Um, there was a box that was stale. Like it was just so gross stale so I had to throw that one out. So I either ate some, I still have some, or some that I didn't even open that I am giving to the homeless shelter. You buy clothes too small on purpose so we won't know what size you actually are. I never have ever cared about people knowing what size I am. I put my body on screen. I talk about my weight. I don't care that people know how much I weigh. I don't care that people see me. I don't care that people know the size of clothing that I am. I've never cared. I've never been shy in that regard. So no, I buy clothing that I feel good in, that I can imagine myself wearing more than once without feeling uncomfortable or anything like that. So sometimes I wanna buy something that's a little too big or sometimes I wanna buy things that are too small because that is how I want it to fit. And sometimes I buy the accurate size. You know, clothing is expressed in different ways and people like to wear things in different ways. And no, never, uh, never cared if you guys knew what size I am, trust that. You say that you don't have enough money for weight loss surgery, but you keep buying gifts. I'm actually really glad I got this one because this one is annoying. <laughs> this one's really annoying. Regardless if I talk about money about weight loss surgery, my money is technically no one's business and what I do, that goes for anybody. What anyone does with their money is nobody's business, truly. Dropping 25,000 in one go, like here's 25,000 versus me saving. I actively saved for Vlogmas. I had a whole Vlogmas budgeting moment. I actively saved for this holiday and for Vlogmas and doing this with Feline. So that was something that I actively was budgeting into my money. So being able to do Vlogmas and have a fun and creative holiday with my girlfriend versus dropping 25,000. There is a really large big difference, but I am now budgeting for weight loss surgery if I get approved and if that's even something that's allowed because obviously I don't get to just choose, I want weight loss surgery so it's gonna happen. You have to be approved, which is <laughs> unfortunate, but it makes it makes sense. But yeah, people coming at me with, oh my God, why are you spending so much money? Da, da, da. Everything is budgeted. Like everything that I spend money on is because I have it and because all my responsibilities are taken care of. Every area of savings that I have was taken care of because that's just how I do things. I don't know if this is a rumor, but I wondered if you're still friends with Destiny. No, you're a lesbian for attention. No, no, that is so homophobic. Oh my God. Definitely the one about you not being friends with Eric and Ricky that makes me so sad. It makes me sad too. We are no longer friends anymore and people will probably be surprised to learn that they have no idea what happened behind closed doors. And yeah, um, I miss them a lot and I'm sure they miss me too, but being friends just wasn't in our favor. Someone said, it doesn't matter what you try to clear up because they're still gonna make it bad. True. The haters, the reaction channels, no matter what I say, they twist it into their own narrative and they they make it into something worse than what it is or I don't know, it's so weird. It's truly, the chosen narrative is truly the one that makes me <laughs> seem like the bad guy, always. No matter, no matter the situation, that you were lurking the Reddit and that's how you knew someone liked your eyeliner. No, I know people like my eyeliner because people message me all the time and <laughs> say that they like my eyeliner, which I appreciate so much. Um, I don't go on Reddit. I don't understand Reddit. I've never understood Reddit. I do not purposely go, especially, and look for things about me because I know that it could be a dark, dark place. 
a dark place to be headed because people bully, they harass. In the past, when I have seen certain forums about me, like years ago, Kiwi Farms, it is such a vile, vile area to be. For anyone to be able to look at me and say you're a bad person or whatever it may be, but then support places like Kiwi Farms, you're nothing but a hypocrite, <laughs> period. The FBI agent rumor, no, FBI Frank is most definitely real. Absolutely, without a doubt, real. Frank is not his real name, I had to create that myself, so there was no doxing involved. But that is a real story, I have the messages still, I have a whole voice memo that I sent because we were all just as confused. We were like, what is happening? Like, why would an FBI be trying to contact me? So after the phone call that I had with the FBI agent, I ended up sending a voice memo to said person because I wanted to clear some things up so they weren't worried on their end. Um, all of it's completely true. And if it wasn't for the fact that there was some personal information that I said in the voice memo, like I would just completely show you the voice memo because what, that FBI story is true. I don't know why I would create something like that. Like if I was to create a narrative or a story or a storyline, it would be entertaining. <laughs> it would be entertaining folks. It, it would, it wouldn't just be a little FBI tried to contact me because they saw a comment. It would be a lot more dramatic than that, trust that. And I think what's frustrating about like rumors and lies and like et cetera, et cetera, is like people call me a liar regardless, regardless. Even when I have shown proof in the past, it's still, no, you're a lie. You faked that. You faked that proof. And it's like, they call me a liar with no proof that I am lying. I, I feel like that's the hardest thing because it's like when someone's a liar, or you think they're lying. It's because you have some sort of proof against what they're saying. And it's like, regardless regardless of what I say or do, it's like Amberlynn the liar, just automatically. And it's like, you guys have created this character. Like me and Feline have talked about it and she's like, they created a character of you who's not even you. And I'm like, yeah, that's true. I wanna know what Feline is doing while you binge. Does she not try and stop or help you? Yes, it's very rare that I will binge when she's around. Honestly, I, I do it when she's sleeping, um, so she can't really help me. But like, when there's times where I like wanna overeat or whatever it may be, yeah, she definitely helps me. She stops me from ordering takeout a lot. Um, obviously, it's ultimately my choice. But when you have someone next to you saying, you know, I want you to live, I wanna have a future with you, and it it's like, damn. It hits different, but when I am binging, it is alone nine times out of 10. So there's nothing she can really do. I heard that your girlfriend is a big time smoker and that's why she ruined the panda sweater. No, Feline does not smoke. That is a rumor because you guys saw cigarettes because we have a friend that comes over that does smoke. They left their cigarettes here, etc., etc. And we do have an ashtray sitting on our porch for said friend because I don't want no butts just chilling. No. So the panda sweater, I actually, okay, this is so embarrassing, but you know, it's cool, it's fun, it's fresh. So the last time I got cellulitis, it was summertime and I was so cold because when I have cellulitis, like I have a fever, like it's like that shivering thing where it's like nothing you do ever can make you warmer. And it's like, I try to do everything I can. So I put on the panda sweater, I ended up puking and I got puke on the panda sweater. And obviously we washed it, hi, that's what you do. You wash things that get dirty. Yeah, I can't live that one down. <laughs> so embarrassing, you wear your girlfriend's sweater and you get puke all over it. You only see that in rom-coms. Not a rumor, just curious if you still write daily in your journal, been loving Vlogmas, thank you. And thank you everyone who said how much you've been enjoying Vlogmas. I have received that a lot and it just means a lot to me. I'm so glad that you guys are enjoying it. I'm sorry the last few days have kind of sucked. <laughs> uh, I think I'm just becoming a little burnt out. I think I've reached that that little, uh, that, that limit there. I do still daily journal, but I, confession, I do not write as much as I used to. 
Um, my daily journaling, I used to write pages and pages and paragraphs and paragraphs, just word vomit. And I wanna say in the last like two months, I now write maybe a paragraph, like a, a, like a paragraph up to like maybe four paragraphs. Um, I don't write anywhere near as much as I used to. And I need to like step up my game a little bit because I feel myself like slowly maybe stopping daily journaling and I, I can't do that because I have daily journaled for, it's been a, it's been a while now. Um, almost two years. So last thing for this video is the cat advent calendar, which is the 23rd here. And it's a little ball. Look how cute. You wanna play with the baby girl? She's always up in this dang cat tree. She's obsessed. Um, I like to tear these off because I like shit to be complete. It's just, just accept me for who I am. Anyways, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you in my next one. Bye. Oh, we forgot to do comment of the day. <laughs> you guys almost, uh, we're probably like, wait, comment of the day. Okie dokies, artichokies. Okie dokies, artichokies. Do you guys like artichokes? I love artichokes. When I grew up and before I got put into foster care, we actually had a artichoke bush in my yard. So I grew up with artichokes. Very much grew up with artichokes. Oh, it's blurry. Let me fix her for you guys. There we go. The tripe advisor. God, I hate the mouth sounds she makes every time she does a taste test. Like, girl, stop. Thank you so much for the comment. And I will try to make less mouth sounds. If I don't, then I guess, you know what? I'm not too sorry because that's just who I am. A mouth sound type of gal. <laughs> regardless thank you for the comment hope you guys enjoyed this video and i will see you in my next one bye